sort of creatively going and, and working on great ideas is to not worry about how good they are. I think as soon as you worry about how good they are, you stifle everything you can do. And just let your inhibitions go and put loads of rubbish ideas on the table. And the point is you edit them later, but the rubbish ideas will get you to the good ones and it's the exciting part of the work is just being able to let go of your ego and be quite happy with, this is just an idea. I know it's not good, but let's keep going and, and don't judge yourself. One brand I really like just now is our brand new one that the partners just worked on is the London Symphony Orchestra brand. Uh, the way they've kind of got the type and just orchestrated right through it, it all just feels really modern for a symphony orchestra to be doing that kind of bold, big bold stuff and also to be taking on technology in that way, to be sort of motion sensor in a classical composer, it feels quite out there. I don't think anyone else in that field is doing anything like that um, and it's pretty brave and memorable and, and visual, I think it's got a lot of impact. I think creative people probably stop being brave and bold once they're beaten down one too many times. You know, if you start to feel like your, your clients are defeating all your good ideas or your boss is defeating all your good ideas, you, you can just get head down and just, you know, where am I going to go with this? This is no fun. But if you can somehow turn that around, or you just only really need one project to go well and suddenly you're top of the world again, you can be as brave as you like. I think it's just finding that project. It might have to be a tiny one or a tiny little part of a project, but it really builds you back up. Mm -hmm.